Hey guys, Chad Trofgerbin here. Today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a new menu in Joomla. Now, I'm going to create a menu that has a series of links to other websites. So this should give you a chance to see how to create a menu, as well as I'll demonstrate how to do some other stuff with the menu items that I have yet to cover. So go ahead and log into your Joomla account, just like I did. And now we're gonna go to our menu button right here and click Menu Manager. You'll see that we have our main menu here, which is what we've been working in in the past tutorial. But now, we're gonna to go to New to create a new menu. Now, you can put some stuff in here, mostly to kinda of, um, help differentiate different menus that you'll create. So I'm going to name this one Links. The title will be Links. The description will be links to various websites. And the module title, again, very original, is going to be links. And again, all this just depends on what you want to do. Go ahead and click Save. And now, we're gonna go to the menu items icon located right on our links menu. And click that. Now, we're gonna go to New. And this should be familiar for those who saw the last tutorial. And now I'm going to go ahead and click external link located right here. This will allow me, as I said, to create a menu item that's linked to a different website. So the first um, menu item go I'm going to put in is incredibleflashtutorials.com. Little plugging here, I guess. And then the link I'm going to put as incredibleflashtutorials.com just like that. And, oh, for the link, I guess I better do that. Make sure you put HTTP colon slash slash in there or else it won't work actually. So make sure you have that in there when you're doing an external link. So once you have that down, you can go ahead and click apply. Now we aren't done yet because if we go back to our website and hit refresh, you'll see that no second menu appears below our main menu. This is because we need to designate a module for this menu. So let's go back to our dashboard and save this so we can get back to our options here. And now we're gonna to go to Extensions, Module Manager. Now you'll see that we have our links module already set up here. However, it's not enabled. So all we have to simply do is click this little red X right here to enable it. Now, if we come back to our website and hit refresh, you'll see that it is above our main menu. Now we probably don't want that to occur. We probably want our main menu above the links. So to simply do this, we go back to our dashboard and we go to the order column right here and we simply click the little down arrow next to our links module to put, it, to put it down below the main menu. So now if we go to refresh, you'll see that the links are now below the main menu. Now there is one more thing I would like to show you. If you go back here to your module manager, let's go ahead and click on the links module. You'll see that we have some parameters we, we can uh, play with over here. Now. Modules work in different ways depending on the module and all that kind of stuff. And I'll get to that in more detail in a later tutorial. But for right now, we'll just touch on it to kind of give you a taste. So for the parameters, if you come over here, you can first adjust um, which menu goes into the module, but obviously we want that set to links. However, I want to show you this especially, this menu style. This allows you to change the style and look of the menu. For instance, let's say you have a horizontal menu instead of a vertical menu. Well, if you click this and you have multiple menus, they'll obviously appear horizontally. And there's a couple of other differences between vertical and flat list as well. So I advise that you go and check those out and you can see what they all do. Also in advanced parameters, you can do some stuff here as well, like you could have a white space on the module. Also you can go through here and you can do some little things as well. 
like let's say you have you want the menu to expand for your sub items in that menu if you remember in the past tutorial we put a menu item under another menu item so this would put off a different effect if you did something like that so again going through and just kind of testing these out yourself is a good way to find out what all of them do and with that I will leave you there go ahead and add some more um, menu items to this links menu if you so choose and next time we'll go over some more stuff in Joomla until then I'll see you guys next time